As a car enthusiast, keeping your car clean at all times is a point of pride. Showing up to a car meet with a dirty car in anything short of a pro runner truck just feels like you're being negligent. Now, I'll admit, there are times and there are instances where washing your car yourself and spending a lot of time on it are challenging. For one, if you live in an apartment complex and you don't readily have access to a hose in a driveway like you would if you had a house, it's harder to wash your car. Two, sometimes you're super, super busy and at the last minute you decide, hey, I wanna go to a car meet or, oh man, I'm late to a meeting but I don't want my car looking like this. What are your options? You do have to be careful, however, because car washes can be very, very dangerous to your car, especially depending upon what type it is. Anecdotally, unfortunately, I once took my BMW M5 through an automated car wash. It had a conveyor system where it locks onto the driver's side wheels and pulls it along. Well, unfortunately, there was a slight malfunction or basically they didn't do enough upkeep in the machine. Uh, so some of the plastic had broken off and I curbed the crap out of the side of my wheels. I guess I didn't really do it, the machine did, but I feel responsible because I took the car to that car wash. Thankfully, they paid for it, but it took a long time and with matching finishes on three-stage shadow chrome, it's a nightmare, you don't wanna do it. So without further ado, here are the five ways car washes can destroy your car. Thankfully, those automated car washes that look like a haunted house for car enthusiasts no longer have those crazy bristles that are going to destroy your paint. However, their replacement oftentimes is called mitter curtains. Now, these curtains are soft cloths that run back and forth or side to side across your car uh, to get the dirt off via friction. It's very, very hard to get dirt off just by spraying it with water, spraying it with soap, and then water again. Usually, you do have to make contact with your car. Now, these machines are very, very expensive. A full automated car wash can run into the millions of dollars. So repairing them all the time isn't something that the person who owns the car wash is really going to want to do. Thousands and thousands of cars go by, eventually these curtains are going to develop small tears. Those tears can hook onto things, namely your windshield wipers. Many people have reported with these types of washes that their windshield wipers have been ripped straight off their car. Also, if you have the shark fin antenna on the roof of your car, like on almost all BMWs, those have been removed as well. Another thing is when there's rips and tears, and even not, if a muddy car goes through, there's going to be rocks and debris that can stick to these cloths and scratch your car. Now, people that own car washes will say, well, we're using so much soap and water that it'll develop a barrier between the cloths and your car, but there is no barrier great enough to help you from a giant rock rock or even tons of little tiny rocks scratching the hell out of your paint. Touchless car washes seems like a great invention and part of it is. Usually there's no conveyors so you're not going to curb your wheels and oftentimes the machine goes around your car on rails so that it never actually comes in contact in any way other than with soap and water. The problem is, and it really makes a lot of sense when you think about it, it's really hard to get dirt off by just spraying soap at the car. So either the car wash is gonna do a terrible job and you wasted five, 10 bucks on a car wash that did nothing, or they use really intense chemicals to eat away at the dirt. Most companies use hydrofluoric acid. This is good at eliminating dirt, but it's also good at eliminating your sealant and your wax on your car's paint. Now people caught wind of this and companies started naming the hydrofluoric acid low pH cleaner. It's the same thing and it is not good for your car. As I mentioned in the beginning, the conveyor systems are one of the worst contributors to damage to your car. Now, in theory, they have these plastic guards that prevent damage to your wheels. If you have high profile tires, it's possible it'll just come in contact with rubber. But if you drive anything normal, anything smaller than a full size SUV, or even an SUV with lower profile tires and wheels that you care about, it is not a good idea. The reason being, like I said before, these machines are expensive. Maintenance is expensive. They're not going to be replacing the guards at all times. And when the guard and when the guard whaler and when the guard whales wears and when the guard wears when the guard wears down, it exposes some nasty things. One, the metal guardrail to support the plastic or bolts. You have to remember there's tons of people that don't care as much about their wheels, so they might drive really close to the side of the conveyor and 
crack the plastic and exposing really sharp objects. That's what happened to my car. It wasn't in the beginning where it funnels you into the correct position. Obviously, that could be a contributor. It was actually in the middle of the car wash in a spot that you can't see unless you were to turn the system off and walk through it, but there was a very intense jolt to the side of my car, and alas, the paint came off the wheels. If you're going to take a gamble, take a look at your wheels before and after the wash, but chances are even if something does happen, it's going to be a major pain in the ass to actually get it fixed, whether or not they actually pay for the repair. Of course, they probably get people all the time coming in pretending there's damage to their car, uh, and if they gave everyone money who claimed damage, they would go out of business. Just avoid them. One of the biggest problems with car washes is actually water spots. Those lovely air dryers at the end try their best, but chances are they're not going to get all the water off. Usually not even close. Now when the water spots dry, one, they make your car look absolutely horrible. Especially on a black car, water spots can make it look worse than if it was dirty before the wash. But two, if left alone long enough, say you're in a rush, you wash your car, Sometimes water spots can actually cause etching in your paint and are almost permanent. You'd have to get an actual detail and get them buffed out, which really defeats the purpose of spending money on a wash. So what do you do? Once you're done with the car wash, if you choose to do that, which at this point, I'm not sure why you would, dry your car off with microfiber towels to eliminate the ugly looking and potentially dangerous water spots. Believe it or not, one issue at car washes is people. At nicer car washes, often people are employed to do a hand wash after the car wash, sometimes even a full hand wash. The problem is people often make mistakes, one being using the same towel over and over again on multiple people's cars or dropping the towel, not thinking about it, picking it up and continuing to dry the car with rocks now loaded up into the microfiber towel. Other times, they just don't do a very good job. I've had wheels hand washed before and they didn't get any of the brake dust off whatsoever and it was just a plain waste of money. So what's the solution to all this? Well, one option is to do some research, get some car care products and wash your car yourself using proper methods with two buckets and all that. We might actually make a video on that with our friend Matt who runs a detailing company uh, to show you how to properly wash a car. The other option is, and these are pretty common, booth washes where you can do it yourself. You drive in, it's got three walls, and then you've got a hose that has different settings. Now, you can spray it with water and then even use your own soap if you want, or you can use the soap they have, and you can use your own microfiber towels so you can make sure the wash is just how you like, it actually gets cleaned well, and you can prevent uh, the damage of having a conveyor belt or having those miter curtains scrape on your car. With that, I hope you found this video informative. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.